I want to start with when before you got started getting the offers. Right. What did you have in your mind? A, so how how the process was going to work for you, or how you wanted it to go, or right. how how did it start for you? Um, basically, I, I didn't have any offers, so I don't know. I didn't know what to expect, and um, I just posted some stuff on Twitter, like trying to get my huddle out to to college coaches and stuff, and I uh, got a lot of good feedback from coaches, and they checked out my tape. And uh, I really say the thing that that got coaches to look at my tape was the U.S. Army All American Combine. I performed really well there. Lord's bless. And um, from there, I guess, it just told all the college coaches, check this guy out. Everybody checked it out. They thought my film was great, and everything blew up from there. And it really was the the, the key to the offers that, you, that right. you've been no. getting the last two months. Without a doubt. That the U.S. Army American just boosted everything with all my recruiting success. 20 offers on the table, um, and, and it started a couple of months ago. Of course, it started with hometown Salukis and, right. and Nick Hill. Of course, your brother... Um, plays for the dogs, but had, did he give you any advice coming into the process? My brother? Yes. Yeah, well, my brother, he was just very supportive of me. He told me, you know, go wherever you feel best and stuff. And, of course, you know, he kind of wanted me to come there and play with him because it's SIU. Absolutely. Once, once a brother. But, uh, no, he said go where you feel most wanted, and uh, I took that and ran with it, and I feel that the Hogs is, is where I need to be. You were pretty high on the Illini. Oh, I was. After that visit, and but it, but it kind of changed when you got to Fayetteville. Right. Well, you know, uh, the Illinois visit was unbelievable. It was great. I, I had a great time there. Um, the coaches were all good. Coach Smith, real guy, genuine, humble man. But uh, I went to Arkansas, and I don't know, I just clicked. You know when you like you feel something that just clicked, and I clicked with all the coaches there. Lord's blessed. I, they had amazing facilities, and uh, I just felt that that was the right place for me. So. Did you feel it? like from the very get-go, or did it take a little bit of the talk and of seeing the things and where you kind of find yourself kind of falling into it, like, oh, this is this is where I could I could find myself? Right. Well, uh, funny story. When, uh, when we first got there, I, I probably I didn't like it. <laughs> there was a lot of hills and stuff, and, <laughs> and I, I wasn't a big fan. But uh, we, uh, we stayed there for two nights, right? And so... Um, the first night at our hotel, the coaches told us to stay at this hotel. I'm not going to say the name of the hotel because I don't want anything to happen with like that. <laughs> but uh, we stay at this hotel, and I'm laying in bed, and there's this bed bug crawls up on me. And I'm like, get oh, out no. of here. Get out of here with these bed bugs. And so we ended up leaving that hotel. We went to a, a different hotel. But that was already a bad start for me. And so I was like, oh, man, this is not the place. And... uh Next day we go there Monday, and I don't know. It's a story to tell the coaches, so it was funny, and um, they just blew me away. I had a great time. I uh, I love watching film with the coaches. They explained how they could use me in their offense, and uh, you know it started off rough and rocky, but just after Monday uh, they just blew me away. It was it was amazing. Your mom and dad, Tim and Lisa Ford, are here with us. What were your thoughts when you left Champaign and you're making the trip to Fayetteville? Well, I thought, you know, do we even need to make this trip to Fayetteville? Yeah, that's, I agree. That was my first thought. Because we were so impressed with the line. I, I yeah, Lovey Smith was just over the top, I'll, right? Yeah. The staff there at Illini was wonderful. We met with uh, Josh Whitman, the athletic director at Illini. He, of course, was a tight end that played at Illini during their heyday years before the 2001 championship season. But uh, we, we left thinking Illini's it. We're done. We don't have to actually go anymore we're done traveling Woo yeah but and luke wasn't feeling really no well. he just and he was a little bit of cold and he's like well i just want to check out the sec they've been really good about talking to us and they'd set up a dinner sunday night so we were doing a two-day visit with them and uh they were bringing their families you know the tight ends coach lonnie and and the offensive coordinator dan enos was bringing his family and they were having all the new recruits from 2017 signing class sit and eat also with Luke. So that was kind of a big deal that they had set up and catered the meal. And, you know, and uh, so we're like, well, we probably ought to go check it out. It's not that far down the road. I know you're feeling a little bit under the weather. 
but we'll do that. But well, suck it up. Yeah. Suck, yeah. yeah. That, that, was, that was that was that was <laughs> Gave me some dig. Well, and, and, and then when we got there, it was just uh, spectacular. Lisa and one of the coaches' wives hit it off like they'd been best friends for you know twenty years, and Luke fit in with the. Uh, the upcoming crowd the players yeah mm -hmm. got along very well with them yeah what yeah. does it mean to you to I, because i didn't get offers like that i, <laughs> yeah, I wish i could say i did but yeah. what does it what does it mean to you when you have these schools these caliber of schools that are sending you a letter saying we want you to come here we want you and and you get one and then you get two and then you get three and then you start looking at the names Clemson, Alabama, Penn right. State, Illinois. I, what does that? How how does that make you feel? Ah, uh, makes me feel wanted. It's 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 awesome. I was overwhelmed, extremely blessed by it, and uh, I don't know. I was just having a good time with it. You know, opening all these letters. I mean, I got a box at home. That's this big box. It's filled up probably to the top with letters and stuff. But uh, I don't know. It just it made me feel really good. It feels like the hard work's paying off. So Lord's blessed. And. Then you get down, and I know that Arkansas, they did a lot of promotional pictures with you that they were sending you, uh, that, yeah. you know, I, you'd send and let yeah. me look at. And, they were working And it kind of, they, they, worked, they worked every angle, didn't they? <laughs> yes, they did, yes. Let me, let me re read off something to you here. Okay. Florida A&M, TCU, Texas A&M, New Mexico State, South Carolina, Alabama, Auburn, Ole Miss, uh, LSU, Mississippi State, Missouri. That is the 2017 schedule for Alabama, for Arkansas. Right. How? That's crazy. <laughs> You're going to the every, I mean, Ole Miss, Mississippi State, uh, Auburn, <laughs> Alabama, at Alabama. Now, you'll get them at home your first year, yeah. but... Holy cow, dude. Bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, baby. Now, Royce Newman, do, do you know Royce? I mean, have you talked to him? Because you know, um, Southern Illinois River to River Conference tweeted today that's two SIRR players in the SEC. He's at Ole Miss. Right. Do you mm -hmm. have – Have I talked with him? No. I didn't, I didn't know if you would or not. Are you going to now? <laughs> uh, I, might, I, might, I might shoot him a text or something. Definitely but, uh, cross the, the field when they're done. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Um, no, when I think I was a sophomore when he was a senior, but uh, I remember just sitting on the sidelines thinking, man, this guy's good. You know, I want to I want to be like that guy. And so, I don't know. Uh, I didn't really talk to him at all yet. So. And did you see on that schedule, the A&M game, it's now a contract with Jerry Jones and the AT&T Stadium. Absolutely. For the next 12 years. It's, yes. It's at Cowboy Stadium. A hundred thousand people that's gonna be crazy uh, to sit in there <laughs> now arkansas is also known as tight end you oh yeah and you've got dj williams chris Gregg, aj derby and hunter henry all playing in the nfl what do they say to you when when you're in the film room and what what did coach balima say to to you regarding regarding that well, I mean, he obviously said, you know, he knows how to recruit the right athletes and uh, the right coaches to, to make it to the next level. Um, he uh, he walked through their film and how in my film and how they could use me. And so they just thought, you know, I was a good fit. They said I reminded them of Hunter Henry and uh, the way I played and the way I handled myself. And so that was a huge compliment. He, the one, uh, when I was kind of doing some, because I got a truthful, I don't know a lot about Arkansas, but <laughs> Razorbacks. I mean, I know the suey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's, that's it. all I really <laughs> know. Uh, but <laughs> one of the things that really caught my eye was, uh, and even Coach Belima in his tweet, hashtagged uncommon. And mm -hmm. I was, and I saw it on several of the retweets right. after that, with un, right. uncommon, un, which I know what it is, but I wanted right. to find out. Right. And and this was what Coach Belima said. He said, "We will recruit uncommon men here. We will recruit men that are held to a higher standard. I don't want people to be normal. I want them to be uncommon." What's that mean to you? That means, um, you know, be different. Uh, just be different. I, I don't know, really. To work. To yeah. work. Yes. Put in yeah. the effort. Right. Because, uh, yeah, that's that's how I I feel mm -hmm. about it. Is 
anybody can go and play football, but, right. the, but the ones that succeed are the ones that work hard, have the drive, and, and put in the work and right. and things like that. As you, when you're driving, or today, I guess after you announced this a little bit before noon, I guess. Right, like probably eleven. That was 11 the face time. Was 50. around eleven something, right? Right. Yeah. So FaceTime with all the coaches. What's your feelings that when you when you get off the FaceTime with Coach Belima and 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 you say I'm I, I'm coming to you, how are you feeling about that when you're done? I was just I was screaming. I was like, Go Hogs, Woo Pig! And I was <laughs> I was freaking out. I was so excited. Um, I, I feel like it's the right place for me. And I was going crazy. The coaches were going crazy. And I don't know. It's just it's, I, it's and our phones were blowing oh, up. Oh my god! <laughs> it was <laughs> pretty funny. We uh, we were talking with Coach Belima. We met with him three times on Monday. Right. Um, just incredibly genuine man as far as um, informative and and just really wants to. What did he say to you? You take over the baton. You've done a great job. Let me have it for the rest of the way. As far as that, but the academic standards that he was putting out that. Their, what what was the number? Thirty nine uh, scholar athletes from their program, and most in yeah. the SEC, um, and they mandate as you sign in, you will graduate with your bachelor's in three and a half years. That's the track you're put on. There's no exceptions to that. You will be on that track, or you won't be there. And it's just an academic standard. Uh, and then also, you, it's a five year um, scholarship, so you wind up. Most of them get their bachelor's at the end of that. So. We were ecstatic about that and the medical facilities that are there, the medical staff that's available, because as you just pointed out, it is the SEC. It and is there, the SEC. And there is some enormous power going on in that, that and speed in those collisions. So we, how, we were worried about that. How, you, you've made your verbal commitment. Right. Um, how does that set you up for preparation for your senior year at Carterville? Getting ready for football season, and and as you get as you're starting to get prepped now, thinking about right. ball for this next fall. Well, for one, it takes the pressure off everything really because um, when uh, when I commit, they commit to me, and so what that means is that I could get hurt playing football, playing basketball, doing anything, and I still have all five years of my scholarship. It, it doesn't matter. I can uh, right now. All I'm going to do is just focus on working out. And uh, getting ready for the next football season and academics, and that's all I'd focus on now. No more recruitment, no more talking to coaches every day or anything like that. And so, it's just it's it's a blessing for me just to have that all off my plates and just just focus on what's important right now. Mom, how does it make you feel now that once the decision is is done, and how 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 does how as as parents, not just athlete wise, but just as an individual wise and seeing your seeing your baby grow up and see this happen I'm just so proud of them I mean I think it's what every parent wants for their child is just something good to happen it just it makes you so happy inside and and I just I wanted him to go where he wanted to go and not be our decision and um, and I think he made the right I think it's the right fit for him. I'm just I'm happy for him that he's made the decision early on and uh, that he can concentrate and he can, you know, not be afraid of having to get hurt football season or and he can play basketball season. He doesn't have to worry about it because he made a commitment. Like he said, he made a commitment. They made a commitment back to him and uh, and they've already backed it up with three kids just last year. Absolutely. <laughs> so, so it makes a difference. Makes a difference if you actually put it. Put your words where your mouth is, and your actions with it, it makes a huge difference. And and they they backed it up and showed us where they did. And I'm like, well, how do you turn that down? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, I I know being able to call the games and and chat and watch you play and saw how 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 things have progressed the last couple of years. It's it's amazing to see, and uh, how much fun have are we gonna have? Rooting for the Razorbacks. I, I never. I, you asked me yesterday. I really, I would have never thought that I would be uh, become a Razorbacks fan. But uh, um, congratulations. Thank you. Thank congratulations, you. mom and dad, on raising you, not just a, a great kid, but my gosh, look at the size of him. <laughs> Money wise, what you spent for food, I know. Trust me, and I, that was one of the things I was ecstatic about. Unlimited food. <laughs> yeah, it's all you now. You guys pick up that tab. But uh, Luke Ford. Lisa and Tim.